What's up everybody, Dooley Ray here, and today we're going to start taking some looks at the new champions that are coming this month. Starting it out with Sabretooth here, who is just in the first quest, in the monthly event quest. Haven't gone in here yet, haven't seen his animations or anything, so we're going in blind. Before I go in though, I just want to take a quick, a quick, quick look at his abilities. So, let's go ahead and do that. He's not awakened right now, so we can't really see. It uh, looks like he just gets passive regeneration stacks when struck by the opponent. We'll see how much that stacks up when he is awakened. It might be might be pretty pretty big. It could be big. It has potential. But I we can't tell right here. So we'll have to skip that for now. But let's move on here to his passive ability, which makes him Iceman Killer. Uh, he can withstand incredibly cold temperatures, providing him immunity to cold damage like Cold Snap and Frostbite. Makes him a good, uh, good against Iceman. So we'll test that. I brought Iceman in so we can just double check on that. Just see. Uh, and then he has this uh, persistent charge here. We're at the start of the fight. If he has a persistent charge, he consumes it and reactivates all the fury effects that were active at the end of his last fight as permanent passive fury effects. Uh, see, at the start of the fight, if Sabretooth has zero charges, he will randomly receive between three and six charges. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, so, looks like, yeah, at the beginning of a quest, you'll just, you'll get enough persistent charges to carry you pretty far. Uh, so yeah, that, that looks pretty dang good. I do like the look of that. Uh, all attacks, every 15 hits on Sabretooths, or 5 hits on the opponent's combo meters. He gains a fury, uh, against skill champions. He also inflicts an armor break if he is attacking, reducing the opponent's armor rating by 512 for 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, fury increases his attack rating by 354. Huh. Is that good, or is that bad? It's kind of hard to, what's his base? Uh, it's like 2,800, and 300 is like a ninth of that. Huh. So I'm not sure how good that Fury is, but let's see, let's see how much you can stack it up, because if you can stack it up a bunch, then it'll probably, it, could, it has the potential to be really good. Uh, let's see, passive dodging back, and allowing Sabretooth to idle for one second allows him to convert a temporary Fury buff into a permanent passive effect. So he can convert a maximum of five permanent Fury passives in a fight. Fury effects from previous fights do not count towards this limitation. Cool. All right. Let's. Ooh. Uh, let's see. He cannot convert his passive Fury effects while fighting if he has 15 or more permanent passive Fury effects active. Okay. So it looks like you'd have a stack of like 15. So 15 times like 300. What is that? It's like 4,500 attack. That could do some serious damage. It might take a lot of buildup, so um, we'll see how this guy actually turns out on his special attacks here. He's a 60% chance to inflict bleed. Oh, yes. Dealing, let's see, that much damage over 8 seconds. Okay. I was worried he wasn't going to have a bleed. It seemed like when I went through the information at first, the data mined information, it didn't say anything about bleeding, but I'm glad that he does actually have a bleed because I think Sabretooth should bleed the opponent. Okay. On the special attack one, though, it converts his temporary fury buffs into a permanent passive fury effect. Okay. And on a special two, it activates a fury effect and immediately converts it to a passive effect, increasing attack rating by 212.85 permanently. Okay. And on a special 3, he gains a Fury buff, increasing attack rating by 600 for 2 seconds. That's really short. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this guy. He... I can't tell. Seems like the Fury might be a little weak. His attack isn't super crazy, but he is a bit of a lower level. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go with Iceman first. First things first, test out, make sure he can actually avoid the Frostbite and Cold Snap charges. Oh, look at this guy! Sabretooth, guys! Okay. See if we can get him to use that special one. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't check his nodes. I gotta check his nodes after after this fight here. Alright. Oh, hopefully I don't kill him. Let's see if we can get to a special three. He's immune to frostbite. Oh, wait, he used a special one again. Crap. Dude, don't do that. Ooh. Three hits on his heavy attack, okay. Special two, throwing boulders, slashing. Okay, I see you. I see that. Okay, Let's see if we can push him to the special three. Nope. Dang it. Okay, this is gonna be close. I don't want to kill him before I see the special three. Come on. All right.
I think we're gonna kill him before we get his special. See if I can let him hit me a little bit. No, he uses special too. Dang it, okay. Hmm. Alright, I may have to come back in a second and try it out again and push him all the way to the special three. Alright, and we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here with Stark Spidey. See if I can try and stun lock him to a special three. I just wanna see what it looks like. So we're gonna we're gonna see what I can do here. Hopefully I don't kill him before that happens. But we'll see. Alright. Stun him there. He's so close, dude. There we go, we got it. Okay, let's see what this looks like, huh? Come on, use it. All right. Ooh, it's a bit violent. I like it. Uh, it's a, is it, well, it's a little bit long. It's not like hugely long, so I don't think it'll be too annoying. So, seems like it's a good special three. I like that. I dig it. Alright, so I just made it to the end of the uncollected event quest. This is the final quest, and it turns out that Sabretooth is the boss. So, this one is Awakened. I just wanted to tack this on to the end really quick, so we can take a look at what his Awakened ability looks like. Uh, it's called Untamed Heart. Uh, he gains a passive regeneration stack that recovers 69% of the damage taken from the hit over 25 seconds. And is interrupted if Saber took the seal blocked. Okay. Uh, Fury and regeneration effects receive a permanent 120% flat ability accuracy. Uh, ooh. Okay. And then uh, if Sabretooth does not hit or get struck by the opponent for more than five seconds, he starts losing regeneration stacks over time. Okay, so this is all about him regening, and we're here to see how good that is. The nodes that are on, uh, he has a recovery node, so it's gaining a little bit extra. 50% uh, more. We're going to take in the potato head. Yeah. Show you how, how this is done. Let's see what his regen looks like here. Get in. Oops, we're uh, we're just messing up a little bit. Uh, just needed to get warmed up to... Ooh, look at those stacks of regen. He's not playing very aggressive. It's not very nice. Okay, and with Modok's special one... <laughs> Uh, it actually, was that a special one? Okay. With Modok's special one, we actually reverse the healing, so whatever he's healing right now, it pauses for a second, takes away from it. So that works for me. The auto block saving me again. Okay, we're just gonna do this one more time. I just wanted to show off the regen really quick. I'll kill this guy later on, but, uh, I just thought you would want to see this. all those stacks. Reverse the healing a little bit. This guy's gonna be interesting uh, for guillotine and void as well. Okay, I ran into that, but there you go. That's the idea. Regeneration. Awesome. So uh, I think that's about all we need to know about Sabretooth though. So I hope this helps you out in the quest. Thank you for coming here. He seems awesome. I'm so excited. So, so excited for all of these characters. They all seem so great, but uh, Thank you for coming here, guys, and until I see you next, hang in there. May the RNG be with you, and goodbye.